Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about three big mistakes that I see people make when using affirmations to manifest. Um, there's three things that come up over and over again, and so I just want to point them out in this video so you can, um, you know, through my perspective, they're mistakes. That just means that you could be getting more out of your manifestation practice through my perspective. So I want to tell you what these mistakes are and how to switch them up so that you are really manifesting what you want with affirmations. So before I jump in, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel in the corner or below. Also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. There are now 14 courses down there. I can help you manifest anything you want, specific person, new love, money, feminine energy, all of it is linked below. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at my computer for this uh, video because I wrote down what these three big mistakes are when it comes to using affirmations. And the first mistake that I see people making, well, first of all, let's just very quickly say what an affirmation is. An, affirm an affirmation is essentially a statement that you say to yourself, whether out loud or in, in your head, you know, you, you can say it silently to yourself, but an affirmation is something that is, hopefully the way you're using it is you're, you're confirming that the new reality that you wish to manifest is already yours in some way, shape, or form. There's a lot of different ways we can use affirmations. There's a lot of different styles of affirmations. You don't have to always be affirming the end to end result. You can be affirming anything you want, any step of the way. That's what an affirmation is. So I think most of us know what affirmations are. And the first mistake, this is a big one. The first mistake I see people making when it comes to affirmations is they're using an affirmation to try to change something or someone out there instead of using an affirmation to change themselves. So what does this mean? Typically when people are using affirmations in this way, it can feel like you're throwing an affirmation onto someone else or something outside of yourself. So an easy one is if you're manifesting a specific person and you want their behavior to change, maybe you want them to be contacting you more or you want them to be texting you, whatever it is. What I see is people use affirmations as if they're throwing the affirmation onto the specific person to try to get them to change. They're texting me, they're texting me, they're texting me, they're texting me. It has a feel like you are literally trying to throw your words onto the outer reality to change it. Now, I experience this as being, you know, we can say it's a mistake or it's just, it's not as productive um, as of a way to use an affirmation. How come? Because the point of an affirmation is to change you, <laughs> not them, you. You change how you perceive them. You change how you experience them. It's what you change what you believe is going to happen, but you are changing you. Any manifesting technique is changing you. You are not trying to manipulate the 3D reality. You're not trying to throw something onto the 3D reality and hope it sticks. You're changing you. And so a way to shift up this mistake with affirmations is you need to, instead of kind of throwing it onto the 3D reality, bring it inward and start to feel that new reality within, like really try to bring it inward. So, and so the direction goes like this. So the, you could still affirm they're texting me, but bring it inward. They're texting me. They're texting me. They're texting me. How does that change you? It's subtle, but there is a difference. You're not throwing something on 3D reality. You're bringing it in. They're texting me. I'm changing because I'm being texted. I'm changing because I'm being pursued. They're texting me. You bring it inward. They're texting me. Okay? It has a different feel. First feel feels like you're throwing it out there and you're trying to change them. The second feel is you're integrating it into who you are, which is changing you. Okay, so that's number one, the first mistake I see. The second mistake I see is that people, um, in particular, when they're feeling fear, panic, 
neediness, not feeling good about the situation that you're manifesting, they will be saying the affirmation, but feeling the opposite emotion. Let's stick to their texting me. It's an easy one. So again, they're texting me, they're texting me, they're texting me, but really I am panicked because I haven't heard from them. Because I'm panicked, because I haven't heard from them, that is the manifestation. And even though your words are saying, they're texting me, they're texting me, they're texting me, if the feel is I'm really panicked right now, that is, that's part of what's being manifested. It's not just our words that manifest. In fact, it's the state of being and Neville Goddard spoke to, we don't want to repeat affirmations um, mindlessly, or he even said in a quote, like a parrot, it's more, you're doing it again to change yourself. And so, so how you deal with this situation is if you're feeling the opposite of what the affirmation is, switch up the affirmation to something that makes you feel less panicked. So if you're in the situation where you really want to hear from a person, you're panicked that you don't hear from them. So you're repeating the affirmation. They're texting me, they're texting me, they're texting me, but um, you're, you're still feeling kind of panicked. Find something else to affirm that makes you feel better. Now you can even shift into self-love affirmations like I'm worthy, I'm deserving, I'm a catch, I'm an amazing person. And even though you're taking your, your focus off the subject in this example, you're taking your focus off the person texting you and putting it onto self-love, what you're gonna find is it's gonna make you feel better. And again, any technique that you're doing Yeah, ideally, you want to feel good anywhere on the scale from neutral to good while you're doing that technique, because how you feel is being manifested as well. It's not, again, it's not just the words that are being manifested, it's your state of being. That includes how you feel. And so if you find that you are saying an affirmation, but you really feel the opposite, or you still feel really bad when you're saying the affirmation, find a new affirmation. There is an affirmation, maybe about the situation or maybe just go into self-love. That's always like a good plan. If the affirmation about a person isn't working or a relationship isn't working, go into self-love, do those affirmations. You're going to feel better. You're not going to feel the opposite of what you're affirming anymore. Okay. So that's the second thing. The third thing that I see people do is that they maybe i don't know why why people do this maybe they're not spending enough time finding the right affirmation or i'm not sure exactly what what the reasoning is but people sometimes use affirmations that don't feel true or feel fake i actually just did a video about this i'll link it up there about doing techniques that feel fake so the most potent affirmation is an affirmation that when you're saying it, it feels true. Now, what I mean by it feels true, that does not mean that you think it's true. It doesn't mean you believe it's happening right now. It it, like the way, the best way to describe it is it feels like it could happen. When we're affirming something that feels true, what it feels like is this feels like it could happen. So sticking with the example of getting a text, if you're saying an affirmation like he's coming towards me, he's reaching out to me, he's thinking about me, he wants to text me, you're saying those affirmations and they feel true, which again just means that feels like that could be true. That feels like it could be possible. That is the ideal way to use an affirmation. Again, if you're using, let's say you're using an affirmation instead that says we're married, we're married, we're married, we're married, we're married, but your system is like, that's not true. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. I'm just kind of, again, throwing an affirmation onto the 3D reality, hoping it, hoping that it manifests, but like 
internally, it doesn't feel possible in this moment. It doesn't feel like it could be true. It creates some resistance in me. So um, that's a good indication. When something doesn't feel possible or feel true, it can create some resistance in your body, which can just feel like tightness or like you're stuck. Again, it can feel like this is fake. This isn't real. Now, my recommendation is to um, not use techniques or affirmations that are gonna that don't feel possible, don't feel true. There's a very easy fix to this, and that is just searching around for the particular affirmation about that subject that can feel more true, that can feel more like yes, I believe this can happen. That's what feels true means. I'm, I'm going to say it again because it's really important. Feels true does not mean I think it's happening right now. It does not mean I believe this is happening right now. It doesn't mean I see it in my 3D reality. It means I think this can happen. I feel like this can happen. And so what you want to do is search around for an affirmation on the subject of what you're manifesting, an affirmation or multiple affirmations, and find the affirmations that feel more true. We could talk about this as um, manifesting in steps. So if your end result, your ultimate end result is to be married, but when you're using affirmations around being married right now, they don't feel true. They don't feel possible. You scale it back and maybe it's, um, I meet my soulmate or my person comes towards me. They start reaching out to me again. They are missing me. They're thinking about me. Now, these are scaled back, but they probably feel more true. Well, depending on where you're at in your process. So start with affirmations and use affirmations that feel more true. And because they feel more true, what they're doing by feeling more true is they're changing you. They're changing your self-concept. They're changing how you perceive this situation. Doesn't matter what the situation is. And again, that in manifesting that it always comes back to that. We are changing ourselves. We are changing how we perceive the situation. We are changing who we think and feel we are. We're changing who we think and feel the other person is, you know, if it's a specific person in relationship to us, but you're always going to feel different when you are doing a manifesting technique correctly. You're going to feel good, optimistic, like it's going to happen. You're going to feel like, yeah, I've got this. This is going to happen. You know, the, that's how you know that it's working because you're going to start to feel more and more certain about the situation. As you feel more and more certain about the situation, you're landing in the new self concept and it's definitely going to manifest. So this is really how to become like a masterful manifester. You know, if you follow pro protocols like this, like changing yourself to change your reality and you really learn how to do it, you're going to be able to do it to manifest anything, like literally anything. So Thank you guys for being with me in this video. I love being here with you. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like the video, and you comment below, and I will see you soon. Bye.